Jaipal Hospital, Dwarka, New Delhi. I am Dr. Ashish Vashisht. I am Senior Consultant ENT and Head and Neck Surgery here at Manipal. And this time we shall be talking about hearing implantation surgery. Two main kinds of implants we shall be discussing. The first is the bone anchored hearing implant and the second is the cochlear implant. The bone anchored hearing implant is a special device that is anchored here to the bone of the mastoid and is especially useful for children who are born without ears. We call this atresia, where either the outer ears are malformed or they are absent on one or both sides. These children often have difficulty in learning language and these surgeries and these implants can be placed for better hearing. These implants can also be used for adult patients who have lost their hearing due to discharging ears or multiple ear surgeries. The second would be a very special device called cochlear implants. The cochlear implants are the only devices that can rehabilitate the profoundly deaf. These could be children as young as infants and people as old as uh, aged or elderly population till the level of 78 to 80 years. Children who are born deaf were once considered uh, non-rehabilitable and would be uh, left to be uh, part of the deaf society, deaf and mute culture. But now th that is not the case. With the, all children who are now born deaf due to any cause whatsoever or who become deaf due to illnesses such as meningitis or head trauma, temporal bone trauma or some other congenital malformations, these children can be implanted with a cochlear implant which directly transmits energy and sound into the inner ear and hence to the brain. These children require some kind of auditory verbal therapy post implantation. And within weeks to months or sometimes within certain years, all these children, if implanted on time, can go back to equal as their peers. Earlier, it was considered that as children who are born deaf or who become deaf early in their life cannot be implanted once they cross three, maybe five or seven years of age. These kind of restrictions no more hold true. And we have been implanting children as much as nine, ten, even 12 years of age who were born deaf, who were prelingually deaf, of course, with certain cautions and realistic expectations given to the parents and the family regarding how much we shall be able to rehabilitate them. But no such caveat exists now. Almost every person, every child, adult or elderly can now be successfully rehabilitated from the hearing aspect through one or the other implants. One must speak to their concerned ENT we welcome you all to come over, have a hearing assessment and a checkup to find out which kind of particular device, whether surgical or non-surgical, would suit you the most. Thank you.